The blog is shirky.com, S-H-I-R-K-Y, slash weblog, and Twitter is C Shirky. Well, we don't know the exact role yet. In fact, what we're seeing now take place in the Maghreb is an enormous new challenge for academics to be, you know, arguing about doubtless for years. Uh, so everything we, everything we can say now is, is somewhat provisional based on kind of gross observations. Uh, that having been said, what I think we're seeing, what we've seen in Tunisia that we can call a revolution, what in Egypt is still an uprising and we hope uh, becomes a revolution, is the use of new media uh, to synchronize a population's sense of uh, shared anger. It's not just that I think Ben Ali is a crook and you think Ben Ali is a crook, but that I know that you think that too and you know I think it so that you and I can act in concert. Um, as I said um, at the Microsoft talk, states are not, in fact, governments are not afraid of informed individuals. They're afraid of synchronized groups. So what we're seeing, I think, what we've seen in Tunisia, what we're seeing in Egypt, is that these tools were used to help people figure out that everyone was angry together and everyone was willing to act together. So it synchronized the sense of the possible. Uh, by the time, of course, Egypt shut off the Internet, uh, and shut down <clears throat> mobile phones and SMS and so forth, the coordination had already happened. The street had become the coordinating layer. But in the lead up to that, people were watching stories on Al Jazeera and recirculating them or uh, talking to each other about planning the January 25th protest and so forth, the, is the protest that started January 25th. And the tools gave voice to a society that had previously been largely limited to either one-to-one -one conversations on the phone, local conversations in the cafe, or just consuming state-sponsored TV. And the presence of a communications landscape that was much richer, much less state-controlled, and much more social, I think, um, was used as a tool by people angry enough to actually try and change their government.